Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at to quomendate. If you don't know what that is, that is the future tense. So already what should be in your mind is the word sal. That's usually what we think of when we think of to quomendate. So I'm going to start by saying that, remember this is our sentence, right? Stompy. Verb 1, verb 2, subject, verb, time, object, manner, place, verb 2, and infinitive. Now, when we read, I'm going to start with number 1. When we read, ek yet me kos and base, what do you see? You see your subject, you see your verb 1, me kos, that's the object, and base, that's the place. Okay, perfect. The others aren't needed. It's still a full sentence. Now, when we want to change this to to commentate, our verb one is going to move to the end of the sentence and it will become verb two and our new verb one will become sal. So your new sentence will be ek sal me kos indikumbes it. Punt. Do you see what I changed? I only changed my verbs. The rest of the sentence remains the same. It's as easy as that. Let's see, or let's test my theory. Die kinder speel beter in die son. Where's my verb? That's my verb one. In the future tense, I need to move my verb one to the end of my sentence. It becomes verb two, spiel, and my verb one becomes sal. Now let's read it again. Die kinder sal beter in die son speel. Full stop. Is that to commanda? It is to commanda. Let's try it with the next one. Where's my verb? My verb is quip. That will go to the end of the sentence and become verb two. So it will be quip. My verb one will be sal. My ma sal groente by die winkel quip. Easy. Let's try the next one. What is my verb in the sentence? Ons rei more na derban. Rei is my verb one, which will then go to the end of my sentence in the to commentate and become verb two. So rei and my verb one will be sal. Ons sal more na derban rei. Full stop. Next one. Jan doen se huiswerk voor eten. What is my verb? My verb is doen. And what happens in the to commentate? My initial verb one goes to the end of my sentence and becomes verb two, full stop, and my verb one, or initial verb one, will now change to sal. Let's read it. Jan sal se huiswerk voor eten doen. Future tense. Hulle kyk elke aand na die nies. What is my verb? Kyk is my verb. So kyk becomes my verb two, goes to the end of the sentence, full stop, and this becomes sal. Hulle sal elke aand na die nies kyk. Easy. Let's test it two more times. Say swim in die swim but na school. What is my verb? Swim. Swim. So my verb goes to the end of my sentence in my to commentate and my verb one changes to sal. Let's read it. Say sal in die swim but na school swim. Full stop. Last one. Die onderwijser gee vir ons huiswerk. What is my verb? My verb is gee. My verb 1 becomes my verb 2 in the to commentate. And then this verb 1 will now be sal. Die onderwijser sal vir ons huiswerk gee. Full stop. It's as easy as that guys. You are just taking your verb 1. You making it a verb 2. And you're changing this to sal. And it's as easy as that, guys. I will see you in the next one.